Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing the Marvel Studios Disney Plus Team Building Sealed Advice video, whatever you want to call it, based on our polls. So if you haven't watched the unboxing yet, uh, somewhere on screen, click that. Go check out the unboxing. Or maybe it's in the description. Maybe I got lazy. Who knows? Uh, but right now we're going to go off of uh, the two boosters we pulled at each time. These are the first two boosters of the set. So this is what we were having to work with. We rolled off to see who got to build from the first two, and then we staggered the rest of them. So Calder won the roll off. So yeah, I quote unquote won, won the roll off here. Uh, so in this booster, if you remember, we had two super rares. We had the Winter Soldier super rare, we had the President Loki super rare, and we had the Tesseract object. Uh, this team, what I have here is totally different. We're building for 300 sealed, uh, and this is what I went with. Now, whenever I can in sealed, I like to try to get as many support powers on there as possible, but I also wanna make sure I have plenty of attackers. So I like what I do with this team. First up, T'Challa Star-Lord, I think a running shot pen blast is amazing in sealed. Plus you always need to have a leadership in sealed, no matter what. If you have a leadership, I strongly advise you put it on there. Uh, next up, we put the Winter Soldier on there. Obviously he's only 65 points, but this is another running shot pen, bl pen blast. Uh, he also has stealth. He has a lot of staying power, but mostly he's there for his stealth and running shot pen blast. Plus he also has charge exploit. It's giving me options. If they have stealth on their team, I can also get in there. Uh, next up, I'm playing Killmonger at 60 points. Uh, that's an outwit. So number one, that was one of the few support powers I had. I wanted to put an outwit on the team. So now we have outwit. Now we have another stealth. So now we have two figures we can put in front of our other two, uh, or in front of the team, so that way they can't get shot at. He's also another running shot. This is a very running shot heavy team, I know, but we got three running shot pieces, one that can charge. We have an outwit. We have an energy explosion, which is great and sealed. Um, so yeah, I'm loving it so far. Uh, next up, as far as main attackers go, uh, this was a tough call, but I decided to put the Vision on, the 70-point Vision. Uh, he's going to be my second, really, my second charge figure. He's a charge quake, so we've got an energy, a running shot energy explosion hitting ma ma mass amounts of people. We have a charge quake hitting mass amounts of people. We have two flyers to carry the two uh, boot symbol guys that are also stealth. So the two flyers are going to fly up, plop the stealth right in front of them. Uh, and then as far as support goes, we only have Outwit there to choose from. Uh, but we have Mobius. Mobius and Mobius is going to be on there. He's going to be giving me TK. He's going to be uh, huge. So TK and another leadership, just TK in case. TK is also really someone. big and sealed. Yeah, TK is huge and sealed. So a 30-point TK, potential Outwit, and then police team ability is really, really nice. Uh, and then Darcy Lewis, she had to go on the team. Stealth uh, plus Outwit Perplex plus Shield team ability. Uh, makes my running shot dudes, you know, a 12 attack, a 4 damage, uh, adding to the range. So now the Winter Soldier has a 8 range if Darcy is next to him. I have 3 stealth people. They can create a nice wall. I have 2 people to carry out the other people. I have 2 leaderships to potentially take off the tokens uh, of the people I carried. So I love this team. Yes, that means we didn't play B15, either Loki or the Tesseract or Tyler Hayward. I don't think they were going to add anything to the team versus I have four awesome attackers. I have two outwits, which is awesome in shield. Then I have uh, in shield, in sealed, and I have a perplex. I'm personally really, really happy with the team I built. How many flyers is there? Uh, two flyers. Two so flyers, Star Lord and Vision. Okay. Yeah. I know that, that Vision has, he's kind of just a like close attacker. But he is, yeah. in a sealed environment, he has that bottom dial with the double rollout. Yeah. And so it's possible that your opponent won't be able to just one-shot yeah. him, and they'll knock him onto this phasing double rollout, just like really hard to deal with piece. Yeah. Um, so what I built out of my first two boosters, so these were boosters two and three, uh, I went with uh, none of this. <laughs> Not at all. Ah. All right. Gotcha. No. Uh, obviously, Dang. we had to go with... Ultron, Ultron Infinity. Yeah. Um, so he's got stealth created. He's got at the beginning of the game, you give uh, each opponent must give an infinity gem to six distinct characters on their starting force. So we don't have to worry about swap or anything like that in this sealed environment. Um, if they have less than six characters, excess tokens may be given to one or more characters. So you don't have to worry about if they play too few. But he can give them to like his stealth characters and make it really hard for me to collect them. So... Uh, when Ultron Infinity hits one or more characters with an Infinity Gem token, instead of normal damage, I may choose to remove one hit character's Infinity Gem token and roll a d6 to gain mission points equal to the result. I'll probably try it at least once. 
Yeah. Probably, oh, yeah. Probably drive Yeah, go times. for it. Yeah, go for um, it. Yeah, no, of course. Duh. No, he is a 12 attack. He's a 12 speed, 7 range, 2 lightning bolt, 12 attack with energy explosion, and 4 damage. And then he's got a 19 with uh, impervious. So it is a lot of damage to be leaving off the table, but it's, it's just cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um, so next up from this, in no particular order, Skinny Steve was going to make it no matter what. Because yeah, I got it. he's 15 he's points, he's shield TA, and then he's got leadership that works within four? Within range. Four. Is it? Yeah, yeah four, range. four, yeah. Um, so yeah, then he's got his own willpower, so he can take his own actions off. But just getting that plus one action, getting that plus one range, potentially plus one damage, all of that's really big. So that's why he's on there. His keywords, again, are Howling Commandos, Shield, Past, and Soldier. So he can take him off of Sylvie. He can take him off of Sylvie. Sylvie. Yeah. Incredible. But again, <laughs> shield. Uh, so we'll go with her next. She's going to be a somewhat tertiary and support piece, but she's got some interesting stuff. So no move and attack top dial. She has traded stealth. So I get, again, two <laughs> Good. pieces all Good. right off the nice. bat with traded stealth. Uh, she has traded shape change, but succeeds on a 4 through 6, so a 50-50 shape change. Uh, when she succeeds, she can't be targeted by opposing effects until your next turn. So, really solid. Uh, she has mind control as her special speed power top dial, and when she uses it after resolution, she may use mind control as free, but only to target a character adjacent to a previous target that she hasn't targeted with mind control this turn, regardless of range, line of fire, or adjacency. So... It's like a mini energy explosion. If I target somebody with mind control after a resolutions, I can then target somebody adjacent to that person. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm mostly playing her because she's an 11 attack pulse wave with 6 range. That mind control is pretty big, but then she's also a stealth outwit with uh, super senses and mystics. Mm. So it was a hard choice, but I think she's going to fit well on the team. And then yeah. she'll probably be doing... A lot of actions because skinny Steve can leadership off of her for a while. Um, Wanda Maximoff was the next easiest pick. So, again, she's got Mystics. She's got the all-new all Halloween Spooktacular trait, which Ooh. is shape Ooh. change. And then when she succeeds, she heals one. So, that's just really solid. She has that stop click. She starts with a 19 defend for 45 points. <sighs> so, that'll bump, I mean... Definitely bump up Skinny Steve, who I think is a 15. Yeah, he's a 15. Ooh, yeah. So he's suddenly wow. rocking a 19, which is really solid. Um, she also, on top of that, has probability control, and when she uses it to reroll a friendly attack roll, if the attack hits after resolutions, I remove an action token from the attacker. So, like maybe Ultron Infinity hitting somebody and then removing action tokens if I prob it. And then last. Is just going to be a backup attacker. So oh, yeah. obviously Ultron can't do everything, um, but we've got good old T'Challa Star Lord. This is the 50 point common. Uh, so he, he doesn't have any special powers or traits, but he has five range, two lightning bolts. He's got running shot, flight. So he's also going to be one of my taxis. His uh, combat values can't be modified by opposing character effects. So yeah, he's just. Got solid defense values. He's a 21 from range when next to Oh my gosh, there. that is nice. It is very good. So, I went with five figures. Obviously, Ultron took a big bulk of what I had. Uh, figures I didn't go with. I didn't go with post-apocalyptic Black Widow. Um, just between her and Star-Lord, I preferred the pen damage. So, that was sure. basically for the same sure. points. That's why I went with him over her. Hunter B-15 has incapacitate phasing... Um, she does have exploit, and I could have teamed her up with Mobius to do some phasing shenanigans and get another leadership. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't know. Maybe I'll regret not playing the double PD. I, I think Mobius I, might be your only real regret. I could have played goes. double PD instead of Sylvie. Yeah, but that's that where nice. it would have fit in the team. Yeah, and, uh, I I don't know. That's that was just like a really hard call, mm. and it's just something I had to do. Yeah. Mobius is pretty solid. Uh, zombie cap he's really cool yeah. again it was between him or sylvie and i think i just really like that pulse wave it's downright just gets through uh pulse wave gets through stealth yeah. gets through combat um you know if if calder 
by chance had like Wanda with a 19 defend pulse wave doesn't True. care about that so True. stuff like that and then Scarlet Witch um, I could have played her at either the 70 point line or the 30 point line and she's the only one that could see through hindering which might regret that and I thought about playing her but at the end of the day I mean Sylvie just had a lot of options that I really liked so you got an outwit yeah otherwise you don't have an outwit on the team I do so have an outwit Ultron. okay so you have two but outwits and you have a prob two outwits a prob two leaderships, two leaderships and yeah. um yeah, I've got Pulse Wave, I've Solid. got Defend, um, yeah, I've got Super Leadership. I think it's going to be an interesting team. I don't yeah. know, it relies heavily on Ultron, so it I does. think if Ultron is just dealing out damage, it's going to work way better than if I go for mission points, True. but at the same time, it's just going to be really it's fun so to go tempting. for mission points. It's so tempting to go for mission points, though. Okay, nice. Uh, my next two boosters, uh, this is what we pulled... And this is what I went with. This was the uh, the big Captain America Falcon Winter Soldier booster. So I want to start this off by saying if you pull Probability Control and Sealed, it's hard not to play it. I think you should almost always play it. That's never... Usually it's never not the case. Uh, I always play Prob and Sealed. Maybe there's some off chance where I don't if it somehow doesn't work. But I pulled two Probs and I had to use them. For 75 points, having two Probs on the team... I don't think uh, is any huge. of our teams so far have I two. I know I was gonna say our theme teams because I don't think any of your you could get you could theme. get theme teams. You could, but it would be kind of hard in this sealed environment. So, so this booster was the closest I came to being a soldier theme team, but I don't think I could quite make it. Um, so really quickly, my two props. Uh, Simi already talked about the Halloween spooktacular Wanda Maximoff, but Super nineteen good. defend probability control top dial needed that. Ravona Renslayer is really just here for prob. She doesn't share a keyword with anybody else on the team, so her whole safeguard opposing prob does not help. But she also has phasing. She also has her own 18 defend, which is okay. And then she has police team ability, which is also huge. So 75 points for two probs on the team is just, I think, you can't replace it. It's way too good. Uh, making his, I think, third appearance, uh, 50 point T'Challa Star-Lord. <laughs> Running shot, plan bass, leadership, uh, five range, two targets. You can't, I don't think you can't not play him for such a good tertiary attacker, like secondary attacker. Um, so I got one running shot piece. Yeah, we're going to end up having two running shot pieces and two charge pieces. So my second running shot piece is the Winter Soldier figure. So uh, this Bucky's got combat reflexes and leap climb. He has empower to help my charge pieces out. Uh, he also has his whole, when he's placed, once per turn when he's placed, give an opposing character an action token, uh, which is kind of neat. So if I carry him up, like, if Falcon carries him up, charges six squares, and power, you know, need that. Well, I guess he can't do it when he charges, but still. Then places him adjacent. He can, like, token somebody up. So, like, that's kind of neat. So, I like this guy. He's also an 11 for three, six range with a running shot. Uh, six click long dial, 50 points is very solid. Uh, next up, Falcon, uh, a.k.a. Falcon Captain America. Uh, this guy works so well. These I have a lead on this team. I don't have stealth on this team. Instead, I have two people that have ESD. So I'm going to play John Walker, and I'm going to play this cap. So John Walker gets plus three ESD. We're going to give him the shield. This cap has normal plus two ESD. With Wanda, he's a 21. Uh, with John Walker, uh, John's a 22 from range with this ESD, which is so dope. Plus, we also have Star-Lord who will also put in the front, who will also be a 21 from range with a 19 defense. So we've got a very high range defense. Uh, Bucky can be in the back. He'll be a 21 at close, uh, but I like this opening rollout. He also has enhancement. So if the Charles Starload wanted to running shot carry Falcon instead, he'll be an 11 for four penetrating psychic blast, which is also really, really good. Uh, but Falcon for 45 points has the support, is a great secondary attacker. I think an awesome addition to the team. And of course, my boy, John Walker, uh, no one in this team is over the 80 point limit. John Walker brings the shield. He, ha if he KOs somebody, he's charged flurry. We have Bucky. He can be a four damage hitting you twice, uh, with quake or with uh, flurry. You know, it's, oh gosh, he's so gross. Charge flurry, leap climb, ESD toughness. Those plus one to stats. I, I almost guarantee he'll pop off, especially with the empower. We can try to get him to kill someone right away. So. This team, to me, it has a lot of it has a lot of figures. So it is a uh, it's only six. So it's a six figure team. It's got two charges, two running shots, very similar to my first team that I built. So we have a lot of different move and attack options, uh, plus the two probs and the very high defenses. Thanks that to is, Wanda, that's a very this, this is a stout team. I I mean yeah. I I gave up 
I gave up a lot of figures I was okay with giving up. I gave up Loki, I gave up Monica Rambeau, uh, both of them, and then I gave up Heist Nebula. I almost wanted to choose Heist Nebula, but then she was 65 points for an only uh, four range charge plasticity stealth. I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling this. I think the team we built is really, really solid. And like I said, guys, if you pull prob, I think you just play prob. Like yeah. it's in sealed, it's huge. I agree. Um, that's my favorite team that I built. <clears throat> so and, like, I, prob I like comes at a lot. premium, so I'm fine with paying like 50 plus points. Yeah. Like maybe even more. Oh yeah. Uh, the next set of boosters that I built out of, this is the stuff I didn't build. <laughs> uh, Vision being able Dang. to carry three uh, celebrities almost made the team. Okay. So okay. This, the reason why you got a lot, lot of famous these people characters, on your team. yeah. The reason why a lot of these characters didn't make the team is because points just came out really wonky, and so I'm at 290 with the team that I eventually Ooh, built. Interesting. Um, Building 10 points under Simeon. Yeah. No, it's pretty common. So sealed. I'll tell you like the things that were like immediate plays. Anyone with the spooktacular trait, the Halloween spooktacular. Yeah. So Pietro Maximoff for 45 yeah. points, six clicks long, has a stop click. He's got traded shape change and then super senses his whole dial except for a stop click. He has the ability to heal from his shape change. Uh, but even more important than all of that is his top dial hypersonic has an additional thing. When he uses it after resolutions, roll a d6. On a four through six, give an action token to each opposing character he moved adjacent to during the action. <laughs> So on a 50-50, I have 11 yeah. squares where I can potentially action up, you know, that many people yeah. and get an attack off. So he's really solid. He's only got two damage his whole dial. He ends with Empower, but he starts with Outwit. So there's also that. But that's just a figure that I knew immediately. Uh, if he never hits an attack, I'm not going to be sad because yeah. I'm mostly playing him to token people up. Next up was Miss Minutes. I've talked about her, written about her. Um... I don't even care about mission points. She's just super solid. For 35 points, she's prob. She's yeah. really good defense from range. She has a stop click. She has the ability to zap around the map. And then she has a 12 attack her whole dial with double target end cap. So even if she's not doing anything, I can just give people action tokens. So two ways to do that on this team so far. Um, and that's going to be the only ways so far. Uh Next up is T'Challa Star-Lord at 100 points. Man. I just needed a big beefy, beefy. guy. Um, again, I could have ran almost everything out of these two boosters, and it wouldn't have been terrible. But T'Challa at uh, 100 points is a 12 for 4 with Pulse Wave and Outwit. So mm. he does not have any reducers. He's got Energy Shield Deflection and Super Senses. Uh, he does have a trait that lets him keyword cheat some stuff, but that doesn't help me at all. It's mm. uh, Ravager's... Wakanda and Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know, and, dude. You could have tried. Yeah, dude. If I had pulled Heist Nebula, I mean, I guess she probably has. She would like have. She would have already something. had something that Ravagers he has. Or yeah. Pirate, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's a. I could have played him at forty points, where he would have been a eleven for three with running shot pulse wave. But I really like that top dial, where he's going to be a twenty defense from range. Um, he's only six range. He does have flight, so he's going to be one of my taxis. Uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna put the hurt on some of these big defense hopefully <laughs> teams at least one damage uh, Next up to keep him a little safe is Monica Rambeau So because he doesn't have any reducers I've got this Monica Rambeau who has a power action can choose an opposing character within range and line of fire until my next turn she gains immobile and When the chosen character attacks it can only target a character named Monica Rambeau So it is a power action. It's a little hard to pull off but she also, for 25 points, has shield team ability, so increases my range, mm. can potentially increase my damage. Um, and then on top of that, she's got two rollouts, her whole dial, and a stop click. So, yeah. it's Double stop clicks on this team is really if, nice. Yeah, if she just... Two figures that can't be one shot that are yeah, both really low. And if she can't three. do anything else, like her whole dial, like, I won't be too upset. Yeah. If she's just doing, like, the, the you know, body blocking kind of thing. Uh, again, Skinny Steve. Skinny Steve! Yeah. I don't have any defend on him for this team, but uh, oh. he does have way more characters that he'll be able to... Um, no, no characters. Yeah. He is just leadership on this team. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, yep. Skinny Steve is just another shield, so I have the potential for plus two damage, so T'Challa could be six. Just another shield in the wall. With eight range. Yeah. And I can have, like, a prob on yeah. that. Yeah. Um, 
And then finally, I decided to throw Wanda on. Again, I was at 220 with all of that. And then my decision mm. came down to um, I could be I could add one of these two 60 point figures, either Baron Baron Zemo or Gamora, daughter of Thanos, mm. both good figures, but I'd be 20 yeah. points under. Or I could do uh, this Vision, who can only carry a few of characters, and that's pretty much all he did. Uh, probably should have gone with him, but uh, I could have played him at 70, or I could have played both of these characters with Vision being at 30 and Batroc being at 30, ah, shoot. and again been 20 points under. So that's rough. Yeah, my choice was that's purely down to, like, I was going to be built under, but I was like, she is a yeah. running shot, she has flight, two lightning bolts, six range, energy explosion, sees through stealth, uh, plus she's got mystics, yeah. she ends with some defend, it's not great, but, you know, she at the very least will dish out some mystics damage, and so, yeah, that was team two, okay. much, much larger than the first team. So, the last team, our final team here, uh, as you guys know, we have an odd number of teams that we played with all five boosters. So, this one is kind of like a just-in-case team. You guys are going to see it no matter what. So, this is the last team. It will not be in the normal tournament, so it'll go against the winner of the overall tournament. Or, if both Simi and I like both like have a double loss and we don't have a team to play at the end, uh, then one of us will be able to play this team right here. Uh, so it's pretty cool. We're actually going to build it together live here on camera uh, Just to go over everything. It, it was a wild team. We had Jimmy Wu. We had Tommy Maximoff both Captain Carter's Gamora daughter of Thanos uh, Captain I don't America. I don't think Falcon. I've ever seen two equipments in a sealed team. Uh, no, is that just just wild? Dude. I mean you will when uh, X of Swords comes out. That's but... true uh, Doctor Strange Supreme the un uh, the common winter soldier Baron Zemo and then Sharon Carter. So, obviously, Super Soldier Serum, Captain Carter Shield. I think, first of all, uh, someone who we can probably plan on playing, Tommy's our only way, if we wanted to have a Super Soldier Serum, to equip it turn one with Hypersonic. Because we have no oh, sidestep. You know okay. what I mean? Uh, that might not be the first like, focus. If we just want to worry about it, he does have the Spooktacular. So, again, he's, also got, true. he's got Super Senses, Shape Change, I think, his whole dial. Um, he is the one, I think if we're playing Tommy, yeah. we're not playing Sharon, because so his whole thing is true. He has precision strike, and then can unequip, yeah, unequip people. So uh, I kind of sort of these uh, tertiary attackers with these guys, support, and then like potential main attackers here. I think we have to play Doctor Strange Supreme. So but he is really good, but it, the thing at, that it comes down to is what point value. At, so he can't fly, he has no sidestep, he has no flight, right. he has no plus Z. We don't have like the thing. The cloak. ESD, Invincible. Do we just play him at 95 to put more on the team? I think, yeah, so here's the problem with playing something that's like two-thirds of your build. Still a 12 for four. So at 195, he'd be two-thirds of the build. And while he's very stout, uh, he does have outwit protection. Yep. Uh, does he have a way to heal? Regen on the way on the very end. Very bottom. Yeah. I, Last yeah, two I don't think steel energy is not bad. He is a 13 for 5 top Yeah, 13 out. for 5 is so gnarly with two, two targets. But he's though. also a 12 for 4 for half the cost. Yeah, I'm thinking half the cost on him. Yeah. Just because I think when it comes down to sealed, I think it's he better to make more action. attacks. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to get out action in sealed. So we put him on at 95. So he is one third um, the build. Um, do we equip him with the Super Soldier Serum? So then he's a 50 50. Would that be? Okay. He, he has willpower from Cosmic Energy. And then. Yeah, Super Soldier Serum would get him a 50-50. Um, but I think... Maybe. That's so good. Would it be worth... Okay, that'd be 145 points to, like, turn one, equip him Super Soldier Serum. There's no like TK even, that we pulled. Maybe even points, um, okay. Yeah. Between the Captain Carters... I think we have to go with the Super Rare for the 19 Defend. Um, the 19 Defend top dial? Do we, do we play her at 95? Yeah, it puts us at... Does she have anything traded that I'm not remembering? She does have defend traded, so... <laughs> that giant reach quake is so, so early, too. So, 450... Is it 55 or 60? For 60 points. Yeah, we can either make everybody a, a 19. an 18, giving everybody an 18, and then giving them a plus one. Yeah. And she'll give everybody a plus one no matter what, even if they're within line of fire, in, as opposed to... So, we could do that. Honestly, I think paying 60 points for her wouldn't be a bad call versus she's, 100. She's also a shield, so she brings in... Yeah extra range and damage to Doctor Strange. Um, 
I think we have to look at everything else before okay. we... Uh, we have a carry, a, final determination. a carry in the form of Baron Zemo with Leap Climb Stealth. Just a straight-up passenger, too, I think is super strong. Is that the first leadership? Well, because... He's yeah, a leadership, without... she's a leadership. Yeah. Uh, he's not. I think those are our three leaderships are them. Because, yeah. yeah, no one else has leadership. Yeah. And then we obviously have a uh, Perplex in the form of Jimmy Wu for 20 points. I mean, it's solid. Sharon doesn't have... What does. is her damage power? Oh, that's her range combat expert plus three range. Uh, yeah, so... She started with Perplex. I mean, I think this is really strong in this sealed, though. Once we're getting full character trait, yeah. She's if we have that, though, I don't think we need Tommy. No, we don't. I mean, Tommy's there I mean, for the, unless just turn we're just one equip. doing... Yeah. I mean, turn one equip, and then he's just a mystic stock click, and then whatever else. That's yeah. true. He is just really solid. He's, Double rollout. He's, like, fine. You can yeah. just leave him in front of people to yeah. tie him up. Be annoying. Um, if, if we want that, you yeah. know... So Jimmy, I think for sure, PD perplex. PD perplex goes on there. Yeah, we're not we're not sure on this. We're sure on this though, hundred percent sure. Yeah, that's just I too cheap for what. It we does. don't have any other flyers, so I think Baron Zemo to carry up two people and be our be our leadership yeah. at the very least. Thirty points good. for thirty yeah. points. Yeah. For nine speed, nine taxi. speed move out. Stealth too sits in front of him so he can't get shot. Yeah, yeah. Baron Zemo on the team. Okay, so that pulls us to uh, one forty five. 145. Yeah. Um, as far as tertiary attackers go, uh, Winter Soldier and Captain America, Sam Cap here, it kind of comes down to do we want the enhancement or do we want the empower? Yeah, because that's kind of what they're bringing to the table. Um, we do have combat reflexes. So right now we have a perplex. So if we choose the perplex and the enhancement, we have a top dial strange at 95 points. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know what I think, yeah. And then we have, I mean, we have a follow-up charge. charge. Yeah. So he can close the gap and deal some damage. So it's not just... Okay. 190? Um, yeah. Yeah? I think we do. I'd be down. Yeah, no, I think so. I think 190, absolutely. Then Gamora is close combat expert and exploit. I think she... Gosh. I think she just has like a 12... Yeah, she's a 12 yeah, for 4 12 with 4. pin damage. Um... If we do her, we can't do her. And we don't we lose out on the defend. Uh this which, Peggy can start with it. But this Peggy can also start with it. We, she also has defend though. Um, so so we would have the potential for We have the an eighteen 19. defend, but we wouldn't have so number one, this is a charge figure that has giant reach six. Yeah. Which is insane. That is crazy. And then she just gives non adjacent friendly characters modify plus one. So if they're within range, they also just get plus one defense. That's the only reason. So it's either we can save ten points if Wait. we do it close. So yeah, even if they're not adjacent, oh. they get plus one. So if they're range. adjacent, they get the plus okay. one because of the shield. Or if they're within range, they get the plus one because of the trait. Because yeah. of the trait, yeah. So we can either go a fifty point close defend, close like when they're adjacent nineteen defend, which is still solid. Invincible starting is obviously better than invulnerability starting. Oh, man, that six range giant reach is so nice. With Quake, it's so good. I think we have to I think go it, with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think this puts at too one. This puts at one hundred and fifty. 150 right now. So, if we wanted to, we do this for 150. We can't do her anymore. Is that with the shield? Yeah, she with the shield. Yeah, that. I'm assuming we pay for the shield. So, right now, at 150, these are our options, which really, Sharon being 35, it comes down to Winter Soldier and Tommy. So, I think we put Tommy in the serum on. If we're not playing Sharon. I Yeah, I think if we have yeah. Tommy, Sharon's not as necessary. Yeah. Because if Tommy's doing anything, it's going after somebody that's equipped. All right, um, and then yeah, that serum brings in one, two, three, four. So really big range attacker, PD perplex. We kind of made a one man army. We made a little bit of a one man army. By, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, man, are we still good with it? I'm still kind of good with this though. I think we that, have high defenses. That huge he ESD, that huge quake can really disrupt. Yeah, that, so that's that's the thing too. Giant reach um, has improved targeting through hindering. So yep. if they're in stealth, she's essentially yeah. charging and then. Quaking everyone in stealth. Yeah. Um, and then Strange Supreme is one of the few characters that sees through hindering as well. Oh, tr oh, that's huge. That's really big. I mean, he was going to be on the team anyways, but that is also yeah. just huge. Yeah. We have Precision Strike for Super Senses. We have Pen Blast. We don't have Exploit. Um, Do we Strange start with through. an Outwit? No, he's uh, Range Combat Expert, remember? Oh, that's right. He but I know what his last two clips. We have okay. the Perplex. We have the Enhancement. Uh, we have the... So... Honestly, let's see. Is Baron Zemo necessary? Let's look at this. We have double flight, right? We have two flyers. 
which can carry two people and then we have someone else you know how necessary is it for him to just be there to carry one person him really compared to yeah and we could we could get rid of him for uh, 30 points or get rid of him for 35 points this and the object to have sharon on the team I don't think I care about Sharon that much. Dang, I still think I just, she's so strong in shield though. Or sealed though. Gosh. She doesn't she doesn't even have stuff. Oh she does have yeah, print still. still. Print still. Okay. Yeah. Uh modify range plus three range combat. And attack. obviously, so, um if we want to have Jimmy three. move up, he can still carry up these two if we don't want to have Captain America have to have a token, but he cap also has like willpower. After his loot. See now I'm just now I'm like with carrier. the team comp, Baron Zemo does not seem Oh no wait. No, we have a leadership, so yeah. He could go. I was. I mean, <laughs> I think if we were going to switch up anything, we'd have to get Gamora on there because that okay. twelve for four. Let's say this is so right now. This is uh, this is or eighty she can, quake. She can be a twelve attack mm -hmm. quake that does pen damage. So this is eighty points with all of this. So instead, we get rid of this for seventy five points with this and Gamora, or sixty five points. We're down fifteen, and now we just sort of have this. It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it. Yeah. It's a hard equip now. Gosh. Yeah, but it's really good. It is good. And Tommy's precision strike, just two damage. Hypersonic is nice, but yeah. those double rollouts are good. I think the problem with the only two damage precision precision strike is unless they're equipped, yeah. they can mostly just ignore. And to be him. fair, uh, Gamora could like move up, or when he moves up, he can just move up, not carry somebody. It doesn't matter if they necessarily, and then he can just potentially. We have a uh, one shot at a leadership. And maybe, yeah, now, yeah, because just, he, this is not as strong as this. I think we have yeah. way better attackers now. Because now, we, yeah, now it feels yeah. less tentpole and yeah. more. Uh, we got we've options. Got, we've got two really good backup attackers. Yeah. A third string, like, yeah. with uh, Captain Yeah, with Cap, way third string. And then. He's uh, kind of a, another support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. In this really. All right, uh, so the team is Doctor Strange Supreme, Gamora, Daughter of Thanos, Captain Carter, Captain America, and Jimmy Woo. All right, I'm excited to play these sealed games, guys. We're gonna have links in the description to the playlist below. Tell us what you guys would have built. Did we make some bonehead decisions building our teams? What what teams would you have built? Let us know. You know, put the booster numbers in the description uh, or in your comments, and then tell us in the comment section below. All right, let's play some sealed.